Good morning, noon or night, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Nottingham Forest FIFA 22 career mode. In this one, we are still firmly rooted into the relegation spots of the championship. We should be hoping to get some points onto the board. Um, anyway, let's get right into the press conference. First, of course, is Luke, who um, has a flurry of questions. Um, who do you plan to bring in? Well, the transfer window for now is already over. I've, not, I've got no specific names, but I'm hoping to get quite a few people through the door in January because we didn't manage to get a lot here. What are your plans for the club in the next five years? Champions League. I don't, I don't want to take more than five seasons to win the Champions League. Will you be terminating the contract of your iPad from your coaching staff? Uh, unfortunately, I have to use it to record. If it was up to me, then absolutely yes, I would have thrown out the window by now. Will you get Forrest promoted? Yes. Laquan Henry, where do you plan to be by the end of the January transfer window? Not here. Not up, nowhere near here. But it's field away. Always a tough to one, but I do love playing in real stadiums on FIFA. So that's why I always make sure to play it when it's on. Uh, that, is ten, that is how I tend to prioritise my fixtures. If they've got a real stadium, then I always play against them. And so the initial 11 for Huddersfield Town. The side well, for the home team is Nichols in goal, Turton, Pearson, Lees, Sarton, yes, Ruffles, Hog Brown, Sinani. Um, Hog Brown, Sinani, Rhodes, and Holmes in that 5 2 3. Uh, Worrell, Cook, McKenna, Spence, Yates, Garner, and Richardson, Johnson, Graben, and Lewis Potter. Let's get a result here like we did in real life. Come on, you Reds. Right. Oh, it's so hard to get advantages now. Lewis Potter on the edge of the box. Striking it and just wide. That was a good hit from Keane Lewis Potter. I don't see why I can't get the free kick. I don't know if I'm controlling it wrong. All that I know is that you have to press down the left trigger and right trigger together and it gives you the free kick. Oh. Yates has won it here. Yates chips it through. Trying to lay it off. This is Graben! Gives us the lead against Huddersfield Town. Celebrates in front of the town fans. It's a nicely taken finish as Yates just... I don't know how Yates managed to win that. He just tried to chip it through. I tried to give it to grab but it didn't come the first time. It did come the second time. And it's as he scored so far this time, this season. It comes across him and he shoots across the goalkeeper and into the far corner. And just like that, we have the lead. Come on, Forrest. Yates gives it back to Johnson successfully. Johnson keep going and he's fouled there. And that is a free kick in a very, very dangerous position for them to concede. Uh, in goes the cross. It wasn't the best. And oh, oh, that was a handball. He's given a penalty. I had no idea. That was a shocking cross. It's hit the arm of, I think, Matty Pearson. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's a bit of dodgy. That's a massive FIFA penalty, that is. It's uh, just a bit random. It's Lewis Graben. The captain the steps up. Fires it home. That's a good penalty from Lewis Graben. That might have been exactly what I said when he scored against Bournemouth, but cool as you like, Lewis Graben. Second goal of the game. I think there is... Uh, the decision to include him in the team was quite a good one, by the looks of it. 2-0. And then Samba claims that one quite well, and that is half-time. It's a pretty good half of football. I don't think the Huddersfield have even had a shot. We have been extremely dominant this game. We've had a good few chances. Look at that, Lewis Graham's had three shots. Look how close that one was. That little red mark over the bar. That is half-time. And that nicely. Spencer uh, loses out. Why is that not a free kick? Why is that not a free kick? Spence was fouled there as Holmes comes inside. Holmes still going. Takes the shot. Oh, what a save by Samba. And McKenna shunts it away. That was a brilliant save by Bree Samba as we look to launch the counter attack. Here's Graben. Oh, dispossessed by Lees. As you can see, but when they have one back in Oh, he's passed it. Straight into the Huddersfield man as here's Holmes. Here's Holmes. He's gonna put it across and it's is put across and tapped in by Ward. Huddersfield are back in this game. Cook has uh 
he's he's really not been up to it. He's he's not been up to it in FIFA, and I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because when players hit 30, well, just look at the defending they here. do made it so easy for him just in the tend just to drop off, get worse and worse. But in real life, this man is a beast. Um, we just can't catch up to him. It's a back pass, so it's not offside. He just got in front of him. There's nothing that we can do about it. We need to hold on. We've got half an hour to do so. I'd appreciate a second goal, but we're not going to get one when we're giving it away like that. Here's Holmes. What a block by Steve Cook. Getting his body on the line to stop that shot. Here's Yates. Breaking forward here. Looking for Graben. He does find Graben. Graben, he's probably in too wide of a position to shoot himself. He draws it across. He's gone her. Oh, just wide. Oh, what a chance that was. What a counter-attack. Cook threw his body on the line to stop it. I think that may have grazed the post from Jimmy Garner. Oh, oh, that's so close. That's the sort of chance that we'll be living to regret if Huddersfield do come back. Only half away is Cook trying to come out to get it. Why can't we clear our lines? Why can we not clear our lines? As here's O'Brien. Gives it one just over. What a chance for Huddersfield to level the game. And they just haven't taken it. This is turning out to be a brilliant game. Here in Huddersfield. It's really livened up in the second half. It was all us in the first. And Huddersfield are really putting themselves in with a chance of coming back here. Nice ball. It's a lovely ball into Lewis Graben. Here it comes Graben. Graben from the edge of the box. Trying to get his hat trick. But Nichols denies him. It's a great save by Lee Nichols. What a way that would have been to secure his hat-trick. Look at that. That was a brilliant strike. He had to be very much on his toes to keep that one out, did Lee Nichols. O'Brien. Oh, they've given it away here to Graben. And Graben's around his man. Graben, he's still going. Graben to get the hat-trick. And he does. Surely Forrest do win the game. It's 3-1 now, just before... Stoppage time right right at the end. It is a hat trick well, from the man himself, Lewis Graben. He's in scintillating form in real life. Scored yesterday against Millwall as I'm recording this. And he's just bagged three. Um, away at Huddersfield for me in FIFA. Come on, Graben. That's got to be it. We have to be so winning this way. game. Six minutes of stoppage time. Jesus Christ, where have they come from? Hog. Pippa. No Sinane. McKenna coming across to cover. Get the across and Ward fires it in. We did need that extra goal from Lewis Graben. Thank God we got it. Because if not, then they would have equalised. I don't know where on earth they got six minutes of stoppage time from. I don't know why they're celebrating that like that either. That will be the last action of the game. We've already won. Ward's got two. Huddersfield have two, but we have three. And when we take kickoff, this will be full time. And it is full time. A well earned 3 2 victory at Huddersfield. Lewis well Graben taking home the match the ball. End, it was the Lewis Graben show really today. Win. And um, he got three goals to make sure that we came away with three points. Stay We've been drawn against certified Premier League big boys as we go away to Old well Trafford in the third round of the Carabao the Cup. Can it all come off Thanks for us well, as we visit the Theatre of Dreams? But with that comes pressure, particularly against the team. The lineup for the host is Tom Heaton in goal, which is a bit of a surprise. Wan-Bissaka, Varane and Maguire and Spin at Zola um, across the back four. McTominay and Fred McFred in midfield. Pogba and Azar, Torg and Azar. Um, making those kind of wide positions with Ronaldo, of course, starting up from uh, alongside Anthony Martial. So it's very, very strong side here as we bring a little bit of rotation into the squad. Rhys Sammer starts in goal, Joe Worrell, Steve Cook and Loikenbe. So starting that back three, um, McKenna was very, very tired, so I took him out. 
Spence, Cafu, Garner and Lowe um, starting that midfield four with Zink and Agle, Graben and Mighton up front. I couldn't not start Graben with how good he was against Huddersfield. Can we light up Old Trafford in our luminescent kit? Come on, you Reds. Can he get the ball across? He does get it across. Is Azar well blocked by Cook? As why is there absolutely no one in defence? My turn. Plays it through. Oh, this is Graben. Graben could be clean through. In against Manchester United, and what a save to keep him out from Heaton. He had to dive away to his left as Graben looked to find the corner, but he was denied. Across now. This is Pogba. And Wan-Bissaka with the strike, and I reacted to that one a bit late. Um, look at that, he let it fly across him, and Bree Samba had to be alert to keep it out. Um, that was going in. That was a great save by Samba. So, chipping it forward, that's a lovely ball into Maiton. He could look to release Low. Is Low onside? Low is onside. Here comes Low into the penalty area. On he goes and hits the bar. So unlucky, Max Lowe, what a run. He was found there after a brilliant piece of play. He kept on going and going, but he was denied by the frame of the goal. So unlucky. In the box, Spinazzola looks late across. It's just about hooked away, and Man United, the attack still keeps on going, but the half does not. It's half-time, still nil now. Not the greatest of games, but we haven't been giving them much of a kick. Well, and here comes Ronaldo. Never a player who you want to be in a one-on-one -on -one against. He's giving it to Azar. Oh, they've got men in the box. Here's Martial, and well saved by Samba. Crucial save from Big Brace. He needed to keep that one out because you feel like if Man United did score, then the game would just tip in their favour. Azar coming off because he can't get a kick out of Jed Spence. Bruno Fernandes coming on to replace him. It's a short corner as Bruno Fernandes gets his first touch on the ball. He crosses it in and it's headed in by Rafael Varane. A goal. It's, it's not how we want to be conceding. With his first touch of the game, Bruno Fernandes gets an assist. No one is rising high. Like Rafael Varan was, it's a simple header. He's just taken that short corner, chipped it up on a plate for him to head in. Samba probably could have done better if he was positioned better, but you can't blame him that much. 1 0 to Manchester United, we've got to do better. Played through, he's got the pace as Ronaldo. And oh, what a block! I think that might have been Samba's save actually. I'm not sure what happened, but what, all, all, that, all that does matter is that we've kept it out. Zinkenagel. Away from his man. Zinkenagel. Looks to get the cross in. He has dug out the cross just about. We have to keep that ball. Jimmy Garner. Against his parent club, of course. Jimmy Garner. He's still going. Oh, it's a cross and it's found the net! Lewis Scrabben, the hero of the last! He's got yet another goal this episode. Again, it's the Lewis Graben show tonight. And he's levelled late on against Manchester United. I had no idea whether or not he was going to win that header. He just dug out by the Manchester United low knee. He, they found him at the back post. That's absolutely shocking marking from I don't know who that is. I don't care. We're on level terms and I need to make some penalty taking substitutions. But whatever, it's one all. Come on. Recovering and... Surely that's full time. That is full time. It will be penalties to, to decide who goes through to the next round so between Manchester United and Nottingham next. Forest. All oh, the nerves. All oh, the nerves. Bruno Fernandes will take his pen. So oh, I thought that Samba had kept that out. Oh, that's so unlucky. Lyle Taylor. Trust you, Lyle Taylor. Chip it down the middle. Have it, Lyle. Lovely job. Cristiano Ronaldo up to take the pen. Blazes over the bar! Out of all players who you'd expect to find in that in a situation like that. Ronaldo skied it. Cafu scores. We do have the edge in this shootout. Iago Aspas. Oh, good pen into the top corner. No saving that for Samba. Jao Carvalho brought on for pens. Oh, my hand's shaking. 
My hand is properly shaking. I can barely take it. Jao Carvalho. We go to the bottom corner. Scored in the penalty shootout against Brentford and he's scored here as well. Pogba. Oh, God. We're going to have to wait for ages to do this run-up. Pogba. Oh, he's at the bar. He's at the bar. No, it's Lewis Graben. The man of the moment. To win us the penalty shootout. Lewis Graben sends us into the next round. We've beaten Manchester United at Old Trafford. It's the theatre of the dreams and Forest dream has come true. We've eliminated Manchester United just as we'd eliminated Premier League Brentford in the round before via penalties. The Lewis Graben show goes on. Now, I'm just going to be simulating this game against Millwall. It's not all that important of a game. We should be we should be winning it. Like, that'd be, that'd be lovely. And I'll quick sim the match. And it is... 2-1. Well, 89th minute. That's just cruel. Gellhart scored. Cafu missed a penalty. Why was Cafu taking a penalty? That's what I want to know. Now, for the last episode of... The, uh, the last game of the episode even and it is Barnsley away <coughs> we beat them 3-1 there in real life but uh, of course the league isn't doing so well for us at the moment uh, a win could see us climb to 17th which will be of course our highest league position of the season so far Away at Oakwell, a fixture that usually um, we don't do so well in. The Barnsley lineup, Franticek Flack, I've never heard of him ever. Uh, Jordan Williams, Manuel Anderson, and Michael Helick, Alpo Harm, and Callum Styles. Uh, Benson and Palmer in that middle two. Cole Freezer and Larry Secker um, make up that front three. That our lineup: Bree Samber in goal, Warrell Cook and McKenna come in back to be that back three. Jed Spence, Ryan Yates, James Garner and Max Lowe, Max Lowe making up that midfield four once again. Johnson, Graben and Lewis Potter forward for us. Garner to slide it through to Max Lowe. We could get an early opening here. It's come all the way across and it's all oh, just wide from Johnson. He got it back across the face of goal and there was no takers in the mix. Away from his man, Jimmy Garner goes on and... Oh, the keeper had a little bit of trouble with collecting that one, but oh, that one was no better than Johnson. Keeper had a lot of trouble with collecting Jimmy Garner's shot. Garner sees keen Lewis Potter. Lewis Potter goes inside. Lewis Potter goes inside again. Lewis Potter... Nobody's stopping him. Squares it across. Graben! Another goal for the Bagsman. There's just no stopping him tonight, is there? Lewis Graben gets his, what, that must be his fifth goal of the episode. That is ridiculous. Keen Lewis Potter with an excellent piece of work to just get away from defender after defender and then put it on a plate for Lewis Graben. As we have the lead straight away. It's a great finish on his left foot from grabs. That is a sensational... That's just a sensational goal from Forrest. 1-0. Oh, Space no. Lowe's him. been dispossessed by Cole. Chance Cole still going. Him. Gets it across. And oh, it's in. a mark for Larry Secker. Too easy for Barnsley. Oh, what was going on there? Max Lowe gave it away. That was... Extremely poor from Max Lowe. A long again, ball that looked a bit of a nothing ball, really. That the went all the way across. The Why was that absolutely That's nobody marking up Aaron Leirisaka? Who smashes it in at the back post. Not the second that we go forward. Do we concede? Freezer. Oh, brilliant tackle by McKenna. Well, who smashes it away. It's well, laid off. Garner. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Brilliant ball for Graben. Who score? Oh, he's hit the bar. Oh. oh I well, thought he'd score again, Louis Graben. Oh, so un... How the hell is that a goal kick? 
And that should be the end of the first half. That is the end of the first half. A decent half. We That goal to concede was really, really avoidable. We should have done better there. Um, but Graben, of course, scoring again. I'm hitting the bar. Uh, I'll be very disappointed if we don't win this game. We have deserved to win this game. Definitely. Well Crikey, done. I'm really looking quick, forward to it. Always a oh no, he's game. given through to Freezer. Free oh, what a terrible shot. That might just be the single worst shot I've ever faced on FIFA. Here's Larry Secker. Larry Secker. He's drawn across and Nicole finishes. Barnsley are in the lead. He's totally undeserved. We've been so much better this game. But we just, I don't understand how we aren't winning. It's a triple change from me as um, I think that Spence, Yates and Lowe come off for Maiten, Carvalho and Gelhart. Gelhart. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Here is Gelhart. Gelhart's still going. Gelhart. What a run. And oh, it's kept out by the keeper. Gelhart, from the first time he got the ball, he just... Well, I'm hearing the went has and no one was stopping him. Oh, Barnsley have got men forward here. Here's Cole again and missed it. Oh, crikey, that well, one was close. That was, the game right that was uh... <sighs> wow, has he missed that? That is one that he'll definitely go to regret if Barnsley now don't win. Lewis Potter gives it Mighton. Looks like return ball to Potter. Potter gives it through. Graben! He's drawn the game. It's another goal for Lewis Graben. Where does it end? This man has been sensational. He's been ridiculous in real life. Ridiculous in game. He knows what he's doing. He's an absolute bagsman. Lewis Potter. Look at that. He just chips it up. He takes it down like it's nothing. And leathers it in that corner. Is there still chance for a late winner here? If there is a late winner, it will probably come through Lewis Grabham. Larry Saka. Benson. Benson shoots and it's just over the bar. Oh, what a scare in injury time. And that is full time. Late equaliser by uh, Lewis Grabham ensures that the points are shared, but... Well, it was we really should have won that game. I'm, I'm disappointed, but last episode we, 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 we so would have uh, we would have lost that. They just need to tighten up. Oh, yeah, that's that's all for tonight. Th that's all that we've got for tonight. Um, thank you all for coming and watching, and uh, remember to ingest cheese. Like and subscribe. Thank you all for 300 subscribers, by the way. Uh, and see you all later. Bye.